So do you have an iPhone where sometimes you plug in the charging cord, you plug in one of these charging cords, even one that's specifically made for your iPhone version, your release model, whatever, and uh, sometimes you do not get the charging symbol. You try many things and it just doesn't work. Well, odds are the um, connector inside here is just dirty. And here's what I do to clean it. Because before this video, this power pack was not charging this phone, but now it is. So let's do it. I'll show you what I use. Uh, let's take this off. And we're talking about the charging port right there on the old iPhone, right? That is dirty. Why? It's a, it's a freaking opening. And you're out in the public with it. You're probably on the beach. You're probably out... In some dirty environments, walking around with it in your pocket. Who knows? Whatever. Uh, here's what I do to clean it. Get yourself a little toothpick. This is a kebab pick, by the way. Toothpick is better. This is all I had on hand. Wood. You want it to be wood, right? And then you want some of this isopropyl alcohol. From your friendly neighborhood, CVS, just get some of that alcohol. Now you got to power this thing down. Make sure you pull the button and power this thing off right all right give it a minute to slide uh slide uh, slide the power off let it power down give it a few seconds and what i do take some isopropyl alcohol not much and you can put it in the cap right let's put a little bit in the cap let's see if i can do this one-handed i'm gonna make them there you go look at that just a little dab will do you and uh, once this puppy's off you can uh you can, I mean, you can, before you even dip it in, you can put the toothpick up in here and just get up in there and gently, don't go crazy, man. So go ahead, do that. Put the old toothpick in there. Clean that out first. You can do that. And then what I do, I dip her in here, get some of that isopropyl on there. Make sure your phone's off and just uh, kind of clean this. I do this on computers too. I clean out computers using isopropyl alcohol to clean off the components, the connectors and stuff like that. I just go in here, I get all around in this. You can even do your speaker outlets right there. Get all the gunk out, just gently, ever so gently. Put a couple more in there. Look at that, see that? See that isopropyl baby? Don't use water. Do not use water. If you do, you gotta put this in a bag of rice and let it dry out. Just keep going, you're just trying to get the, all around, just get around in there, gently, gently. Cause you probably have some uh, dirt build up, maybe some corrosion. Maybe, I don't know, you never know if this stuff would rust or not. Uh, I haven't looked inside, but I just do this and you can even turn it. Like instead of going back and forth as well, you can just twist it, right? Very gently, very, very gently. Just do that and do one more for the road, right? One more for the road, do, 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 do. And I'm doing this one handed, so hang on there. Just do that, you get the idea. You're basically cleaning off the connectors here. And then even on your plug, what I would do right here, just dab your finger in here, boom, both of them. And make sure this is unplugged. You get a, I don't know if you get shorted out, but yeah. Unplug your freaking cables. Don't, do, don't even risk it. You won't get shocked, but why short out something, right? So dab your finger in here. Get on the old end here and just rub it in. You're basically just cleaning the connectors off right here. I'm just doing that. You can just use a little lint-free rag as well. And uh, yeah, that's what I would use. Just dab it in there. Use some lint-free rag to clean that off as well. Boom. Let it air dry. Give it a minute. Don't turn it right back on. Just make sure it all will evaporate away, which it will. And then you're good to go. You should have a nice clean connection for your uh, power pack or your headphones. If your headphones aren't quite working all the time, it just may be the connector in it. And if you've done a decent job of cleaning this out and you're still having problems, it could just be a bad cable or it's just beyond repair. You just don't know. It's a little life hack, little iPhone hack to try to get you up and running. All right, that's all I got. I hope this helps.